everybody, it's Gal from Blue Rose Paper Treasures with a quick pop-up video on how to make the napkin cards that I posted yesterday. A few people were wondering how I did them. There's lots of videos on YouTube, on Pinterest, but I'll just show you quickly how I got how I how I made these couple of cards. These were the some samples that I made. Um, and they are so easy and quick and you can make hundreds of them. These are really good at Christmas because you can buy some really beautiful Christmas napkins. Um, these were the only ones I was able to get locally. We don't have many options around here. So I'll just quickly show you how I put them together. Um, this one I've actually embossed and I've, I actually ran out of Winker Stella. I was trying to actually make that a bit shiny, just one part of the card. Um, so that was that one. Uh, another one was pretty... Um, Foresty with little birdies on them with a little bit of embossing on the background um, This one was a um, book fold card um, The the girls made um, And that one I just did some embossing um, uh, Some die cutting different shapes on them. These are so easy. I let the girls make what they wanted yesterday um, I gave them I started off showing how to do it and then they just went and made what they wanted um, The only supplies you need uh, um, I've used the basic white thick um, to give it a little bit of support because you are going to put sticky paper on it. Um, the other thing I buy is uh, double sided sticky sheets and these come in a two pack and I think they were $2.50 um, and I put the whole A4 sheet on the uh, piece of cardstock or you can cut pieces out. I just found it easy to put the whole sheet on there in one go. Um, you can use glue but it's better to have a solid, um, sticky surface to attach the napkin to. So this is one, um, one of the sticky sheets, and I'll show you how I attached it. Um, now, my hands are frozen. It's freezing cold here. I've got so many layers of clothes on. Um, this is the, probably the hardest bit. It's just because there's no like corner to, to get the... Oh, God. Oh, this is probably going to take ages. All right, I've got a little corner. All right, so the sticky side is that side. So I just rolled it back a tiny bit. And then just folding over that to hold on to it. And then it's just, I got, it's easy to stand over it, so I hope you can see this. And then I just pop the top corner on the top hopefully lining it up with the other one and then I just let it fall and then just slowly peel that back don't force it just let it fall all on its own and then you should have that attached to your cardstock next thing I do is I just scribble on the back of it just so I know which side is which. You can tell because this is rather shiny, but I just found it easy if I just scribble on the back of the cardstock so that I know it's just easy for me to see. So that was just my little trick that I picked up myself. So there's your sheet, and now you're ready to um, cut it into smaller panels um, and to attach the napkins. So I've got a couple I've prepared earlier. Um, these were the only napkins I could find. These were two dollars from my little reject shop. Um, these are the only ones I could find. This one, my good friend Barbara in WA sent those to me because she knows I love pussy cats, um, and they're absolutely beautiful. That's the beautiful tropical one with the little birdies on it. That one was I didn't really like that one, and the beautiful um, na they look like um, Australian native flowers on that. It looks like a a, a protea. I think that's a protea on that one. So, you'll notice, I open up one of these, if I can find the opening. Where's the opening? You will probably notice that any napkins you buy have four panels on them. So these make, this is great for a group of um, four people. They each took a panel. Um, so these ones, are, they're slightly different patterns on each. But they're great because you can cut them into four because you don't want a giant piece anyway. Um, and that was all those pussycat one. 
and you'll notice the same on this one the patterns just repeat on all four sides not always but I noticed all the ones I bought it was the same pattern on all four um, quarters of it the first thing you need to do is I've got a couple of smaller panels to start with um, it's just trim your napkin and I'll cut two and then first step is to always take the layers off some napkins have three layers these ones only had two but don't do what I did I forgot to take it off one so the only thing that stuck to the sticky paper was the white layer I keep those two for you to use all right so you've taken the layer off and I'm just going to trim that down so I've got two panels and I'll just show you two different ways that um, you can attach um, the tissue the napkin to the sticky paper so I scribbled on the back so I know that that's the cardstock so you just oh god my hands are so cold all right I'm just going to take that layer of sticky off it is very sticky this one um, and then all you do is leave a border around it if you can try not put it right on the edge so there's sort of no right or wrong it's whatever you which part of the napkin you want to use and I just start on one corner and just let it fall and there you have it okay and that's your napkin already put on that now this some napkins have got like an embossed edge I always emboss once um, once they're on or I even just run them through the big shot just to completely stick the napkin onto the sticky paper if you've got any little bubbles um, or scrunchy bits emboss it I always emboss it no matter what so your first option is you can trim it down and give it a nice oh, trim it right down to the cardstock just trim the hanging bit over give it a nice trim there's just so many beautiful napkins around sometimes you get a napkin at a party or something you don't want to use it because it's so beautiful right so there's a little bit of mottled or raised bit there so just grab just grab your die cutting machine I'm actually going to emboss this with the subtle embossing folder and if you don't want to emboss it just run it through with the plates just to so that it flattens it down and I don't have a plate all right so that that step will really seal that tissue paper to the sticky or you can just die cut a shape you can do whatever you like with it once it's attached and there you have and that actually looks really pretty on that I don't know if you can see that very well but that looks really really pretty and now that's attached and you're ready to do whatever you like with that alternatively you could die cut it first and then run it through your die cutting machine just to secure that the other way that you can um, attach the tissue uh, the napkin I keep saying tissue well it is tissue paper hang on uh, so I'll do another one and just once again I just let it fall just let it drop well that's got a few crinkles in it but that's okay so what I'm going to do with this one you're to give it a nicer edge just trim it down slightly leave about half an inch enough for when we put the tape on there I'll explain that 
Uh, it doesn't have to be exactly straight. Right, and then what I do is place some double-sided tape or tear and tape along one edge. I do it one at a time so that I can get all four corners stuck. And then you're just going to wrap it like you would, um, cover it like you would a book. Oh, God. All right, as long as there's enough tape there. And then I'll do the next one. Donkey dum dum. And I'm gonna kind of fold that corner over. Just so that it lays flat. The next one. So just make sure, depending on the width of your tape, that you leave enough overhang so that it will attach. Right, just fold that a little bit. This just gives it a nice edge to it. Last one. Oh, oh god, it's so cold. Right. Fold that over. And tuck that one under. And that just gives you a nice folded edge on, over it. That's optional. But the girls did a couple of both. They did some where they just trimmed the edge and they did some where they folded it over. So now that's ready to emboss or just run through the, uh, the die cutting machine just to level it all out. But once again, there are a couple of little crinkles on that, so I would emboss that. And then they're ready to do whatever you like with it. So this one here, same sort of thing. I just cut a bunch of um, stitch rectangles. So that was a smaller one and a larger one. I cut, trim them out, uh, die cut them together, and then just put a plain one behind it. Um, it's a little bit crinkled, but it, it's nice. It gives it a bit of a feature. So I would probably do something like that with that one. Um, or you can trim them down. That one there, I think we trimmed it down. We did a bigger piece and just trimmed it down. The same with that one. It was just trimmed down. We just picked whichever part of the, the pretty napkin they wanted. And they were all different, which was great. Um, and trimmed it down. And that was the larger one. Just using the whole piece. And you don't need anything else with it. And that is all there is to making napkin cards. I know it, my girls couldn't understand what I meant when I said we're making napkin cards. They, they couldn't work out what I was saying. So, um... That was good because it was a surprise for them when they saw how to do it and they loved it. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you very quickly. Oh, the other thing, on um, Don't Be Afraid, I added a little bit of stamping to that one. So don't be afraid to add a bit of stamping to them just to change the napkin somewhat. So I just, um, this was the, the script out of my Fanciful Fragrance, which I'll never get rid of because I love it. And just, I just put a bit of black, make sure it's up the right way. And I stamp off once because I didn't want it too, too dark on it. And it just changed the napkin a little bit. Making sure it's straight. Yeah, and that just totally changed it just by adding a little bit of uh, stamping to it. It totally changed the pattern altogether. So don't be afraid to add a little bit of um, stamping to your um, napkins. Okay, that's all I wanted to go through with you today. There's nothing else to these cards. Once you've got them, away you go. But just remember to scribble on the back so you know which is the shiny side and which is the plain side. So it's frustrating. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you. I shall chat to you all later. Bye.